Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is Dell's XPS 13 9300 series, which is being unveiled at the Consumer Electronics Show and should be available starting January 7th for about $999 and up. Like the XPS uh, 13 that we've seen in recent years, it is a very thin and light laptop with uh, slim bezels and an aluminum body and a uh, carbon fiber uh, interior. But there are a couple of things that are new this year. So, uh, if we can bring the spring to life, first thing that you might notice is that the bezels are still thin on the top and the sides, but also now on the bottom. So it's the first version with a four-sided slim bezel design, and that gives it an overall sl uh, smaller profile than its predecessors, but an actually uh, slightly l more screen real estate because they went to a 16 by 10 display. What that means is instead of 1920 by 12, uh, 1920 by 1080, what you're getting now is 1900 by 1200 or 3840 by 2400, which is actually the same options that are available on the Dell XPS 13 2 and one which was released last year with an Intel Ice Lake processor. Speaking of which, this is also now available with Ice Lake processors as opposed to Comet Lake, which was the previous generation. So it's going to be available with up to an Intel Core i7 uh, processor with Intel Iris Plus graphics. Uh, the Core i3 and Core i5 versions are going to have um, the more standard Intel UHD graphics. But overall, it's, uh, it's going to be the first in the Dell XPS 13 clamshell style design series that's available with 10 nanometer Intel chips. Uh, as I mentioned, prices are going to start at about $999, and at that price, you only get 4 gigs of RAM, Core i3 processor, uh, 128 gigs, or 256, uh, 256 gigs of storage, which is an upgrade. And the storage is upgradable. You can actually open it up, and there's an M2 slot in there that you can upgrade. But the amount of memory that you get when you buy this is the amount of memory that you're going to have to stick with, because that's solder, soldered. Uh, uh, it's available, it can support up to 32 gigs of RAM, but you're going to have to pay for however much you want at, uh, at the get-go. So if 999 for a 4 gig of RAM computer is not something you want to do, you're probably going to spend a little bit extra, uh, and there's going to be versions that probably sell for $1,200 or so and up that'll have 8 gigs of RAM, Core i5 processors, and so forth. So uh, again, sort of the moral to this story is uh, it has a relatively affordable starting price, but you're probably going to splurge a little bit more. If you're willing to spend 1000 I think you should probably consider spending a little bit more to get a better amount of RAM, uh, depending, I mean, maybe you only need 4 gigs, maybe you have very specific applications in mind. Um, ports, it's got uh, two Thunderbolt 3 ports uh, and a micro SD card slot here, and that is pretty much it. So that means that you can charge it uh, from either side, oh, and there's also a headset jack here. You can charge it from either side, you can plug in a hub, you can plug in an adapter, you can plug in anything if you need, Ethernet, HDMI, DisplayPort, etc. Um, but there's not a lot of built-in ports, so if you have a mouse or something that you really love, you're going to need an adapter to use that. Or get a Bluetooth mouse or something like that so you can go wireless. Uh, but the uh, advantage to that, again, is that you get a very sort of slim overall profile. You've got this edge-to-edge -edge keyboard, which um, is not the maglev keyboard that was used in the XPS 2, uh, XPS 13 2 and one uh, but it's got a uh, slightly more travel than the maglev keyboard and overall feels pretty good. Um, the touchpad is a precision touchpad that is still a click pad. You can click down on it, but they've put a little bit of dampening, so it's a little bit more quiet than it used to be. And the keyboard overall is relatively quiet. Another change in this year's model is not only is the uh, camera above the display, which is something that was introduced relatively recently because the top bezel used to be so small that Dell couldn't, couldn't fit a camera in there, then they shrunk down the cameras until they could. There's now an infrared camera, which means that you can use Windows Hello for uh, face recognition, as well as uh, dual microphones here on top, so you can use Cortana or or other voice assistant software if that's something that you want to do as well. So that is a first look at the Dell XPS 13 9300 series, which is uh, the new version for 2019 with Intel Ice Lake processors uh, coming January 7th for $999 and up. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and you can check out lilliputing.com for more details on this and other laptops and other devices that are being unveiled at the Consumer Electronics Show.